Now you can see once you get the gauges out, this just come off. The gauges were holding this together. So this is a piece that we're going to be working with, not this piece. So I'm going to put this piece to the side and we're going to work with this piece right here. So this top piece is the factory piece that come on these trucks. Like you see it's flimsy, that's why they break up so bad. A lot of these trucks when they start get older, these pieces start to crack or break. Especially if you buy the truck from somebody that wasn't taking care of it. I got this sandpaper. It's different grade sandpaper that come in this little pack right here. And basically I use it just to clean up the surface that I'll be working with. And this is a finished product. This is what it look like once you get it all cleaned up. So right now I'm getting all the supplies I need for it. This is the vinyl that I use to wrap it. And the vinyl, you could buy it from your local craft store or you could buy it through the link I put in the description. You'll need a squeegee, you'll need um, a cutting blade. All these stuff you could get from your local craft store. And it's the same things you'll use if you're making decals. You also need a heat gun. You don't need to get an expensive heat gun. Just a basic cheap heat gun. As long as they heat up, it'll be good enough to get the job done. And these heat guns don't take long to heat up. Cause you don't need a lot of heat on this, or you don't. Um, I normally just turn it on while I'm getting everything prepared. Just so it could heat up and I know it's working. That way I don't start the job then to find out that the heat gun not working. Then once it gets so hot if I'm not ready I go ahead and turn it off until I need it. When you're going to cut this vinyl you could turn the vinyl upside down. Put that piece of plate you're working with on top of it and trace it out. Or you could just freehand it the way I'm doing it. Either way you do it, go and get the job done. Free handing it is just as good as um, if you trace it out. Okay, for the most part, the part that's going to be showing will come out looking good. The back part is a part that nobody won't be able to see. If you're interested in doing t-shirts, decals, license plates, mugs, um signs is similar technique to do them if you're interested in doing some learning that let me know and i'll i'll do some videos on those i used to do t-shirts i don't really focus on them no more but i still have all the equipment to do it but it's basically the same technique it's similar technique doing t-shirts as it is uh, wrapping these dash pieces right here when you cut in the vinyl you want to cut it a few inches longer and a few inches wider than the item you're going to wrap that way when you fold the vinyl over it the edges are not exposed you also wrap the edges and sa same thing when you go to do the um, the holes just keep watching the video and I'll show you how to um, wrap it over the holes. That way the inside of the holes are not exposed.
Once you start sticking the vinyl, you want to use a squeegee to smooth it out. If you don't have a squeegee, you could use like a cord or your license. Just something small, easy to handle and have a straight edge. And you also want to use a heat gun just in case you start getting any bubbles in there. Use a heat gun to, to um, smooth it out. And what a heat gun doing is softening up the vinyl. That way it's easier to work with. So this is what the finished product look like once you get everything all right. That's what the back look like. That's a back. That's a part that nobody won't see. What they'll be seeing is the front part. Now we're gonna go through and cut all these holes out. I'm gonna show you how to um cut them. When you go cut the hole, either cut it in a plus sign or cut it in a um X. Once you do that, you use a heat gun to heat it up and stretch it. That way it's easier to form around the holes. And once you get a few of them done, just go ahead and do all the rest of them like that. It'll come like nothing after a while.
And this is what your finished product will look like. Sometimes be a tight fit. So if the corners are too tight, you just use the heat gun and heat the corners up and they'll slide right on.